Hi everyone, this is Pravin Dore from DICE University and in today's video, we are going to take a look at the introduction of Ad Cache Push Traffic Network Tutorial. Let's go! Welcome to today's video where we are going to talk about the Ad Cache Ad network or should i say the ash cash push network guys so before we take a look at the website which looks pretty colorful and with a lot of image and all this kind of stuff let's do a simple introduction like we always do and this time we're going to do a simple introduction regarding the ash cash push traffic network so so with almost a decade in the business of serving ads to monetize website as well as for media bias the ad cash has been around for a while you might be asking me the question a, a while a while means what a while means how long they have been here since the year 2007 which means literally they have been in the industry for almost 30 years guys and not only that they have also been refining their algorithms for many many years so they're actually based on Estonia that was uh, that's where they actually established they have actually uh, spread to Spain if I'm not mistaken and few other countries and but they are actually functioning worldwide they do have all in all these countries that I mentioned but they are functioning worldwide and they are geared largely towards the entertainment and gaming content now you know why it looks so colorful right the website looks pretty colorful because one of their main targets is entertainment as well as gaming content so the ad cache actually use a dynamic CPM optimization to keep the ad inventory relevant to your likely traffic, but also to offer the option of manually controlling the ads served on your sites if you're a publisher. And the choice is actually departure for some in the realm monetizing contents through ads as well as can give publisher more control for better chance of conversion traffic so this is basically what it does for publisher and for and for advertisers it actually offers a lot of stuff guys especially when it comes to verticals they offer most of the vertical but primarily like i told you just now itself concentrating on the entertainment and gaming industry so they do have over than 100 website and mobile application and this is not according to me this is actually according to wikipedia itself and 150,000 according to their own website so basically this is their introduction and let's go ahead and take a look at the website of ad cash personally what i like about the ash ad cash website when it's first time looking at the website what i love about the ad cash website the first time i'm looking at the website is everything is segregated so this is something that a lot of ad networks big big ad networks screw up badly guys like even in their dashboard they do not segregate stuff between the publisher as well as for the advertisers but the ad cash the first thing you look at the the website itself ad cash for publisher ad cash for advertisers they have already segregated everything in the beginning itself so this is something that i like so for publisher you monetize your website for advertisers you grow your audience with performance deep driven ad campaigns which means you're buying ad so if you scroll down further reach your performance uh, advertising goal blah 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 so global reach 200 million users per day rocking the industry since 2007 like i told you anti-fraud technology 12.3 million campaign budget saved in 2018 so these are the advantage of monetizing these are the advantage of advertising so for monetizing anti-block technology clean ads free integration fast payment 
movement, high fill rates, and eCPM live statistics, multiple ad format, worldwide coverage. For advertisers, it's more on advanced targeting, anti-fraud technology, automated ROI optimization, conversion tracking, which means that they do have internal tracking software, exclusive publisher and RTV supply, fast campaign creation, self-serve platform, real-time reporting. They do have an internal tracking system. So you can actually go ahead and register. But before that, let's just go ahead and take a look at the ad formats that they are actually running. So they are actually running pop under, native ads, uh, push notifications and banner ads. So we are going to talk about push notification mostly. They do have a referral program starting from February uh, 26 and uh, it's a 5% lifetime referral program and then uh, 24 7 online support, no hidden fee, account management. Like I told you, they were based on Estonia. This is where they were created. Now they have expanded to Spain, Bulgaria, and this is actually their contact details. So all you can do is, depending on what you are, your publisher or your advertiser, you can actually start monetizing or start advertising and get yourself inside the ad cash. We have personally made our account with, with ad cash already. If you would never make your account with ad cash yet, go ahead and hit the register button and register first, whether you're a publisher or advertiser. Let me just assume that you're an advertiser since you're watching this media video on media buying, guys. So uh, register as an advertiser and hit the sign in button. So I'm just going to sign in into the ad cash platform and show you how the ad cash platform looks like. Welcome to the ad cash dashboard. So this is how the ad cash dashboard looks like. So personally, the overview itself, I would not say there's originality within them. Uh, things looks very customized. They actually customize a lot of things. So, but these are very, very straightforward uh, template, which a lot and a lot of ad networks use. So I won't say there's originality in them yet, but they do customize a lot of stuff. So over here, is the support you can actually see the details and how much fun that i have notification and over here you can actually create campaign and the best part is whenever you just log in into your dashboard there will be a chat over here and who is actually online at that particular moment so for this particular moment bantia is actually online so you can ask her any question so she's not online actually she's She's offline, so she will be back a late, later on. So this is actually a chat customer support. And when you look at the left hand side, you can actually uh, cancel this. So this is basically the the division, the sections that this particular dashboard has. So it's home. So this is home. So when you go to home, you get your campaign running and fund your campaign. So these are the actual steps. So at least they got the steps right. So this is actually a very common step. So you can actually do step one first or step two first. So depending on whatever you want. You can actually go ahead and add fun first and then go ahead and make campaign. So it's totally depending on you. Uh, so the next section would be the campaigns, which we're going to take a look at last. And then there's zone list. So let's go ahead and take a look at a zone list. So the first thing is they do have tell you they emphasize on this get your campaign running first and then add fun to your campaign so this is where you can actually default a zone list where you can actually put a list name and then you can put an IP address or you can put a sub zone list and then you can later decide whether you want to whitelist them or blacklist them so you can actually apply this list to all the campaigns so if you want to blacklist them you apply that to all your campaigns so all your campaign this particular zone list would be there so this is how you can do i have not done an ad with ad cash before so i don't know about that let's just go through it together but usually once you have actually created a zone list over here when you're creating a campaign you can actually add this zone list whether you want to whitelist it or you want to blacklist it over there and then the next section would be the report section so when you click on the report section there's four subcategories so daily spending over here 
So you can actually still see that they are actually, they do emphasize on this thing. This thing is not going away. So this is their internal tracker. So they do have ECPC, ECPM. So now it's Maxim already. So if CBC price and all this kind of stuff. So there's a detailed statistic on another hand where you can actually go ahead and see the detailed statistic on the campaign or website or creatives or formats. So like I told you just now yourself, they told that they do have a very good internal tracking system. Uh, let's let's just check out their tracking system. I think their tracking system is quite good. So you can actually go ahead and request reports, which means all these reports, this daily spending, this daily statistics, you can actually request this report from them, uh, whether you want it on daily basis, monthly basis, and all this kind of stuff for your own purpose. You can hit the subscribe button. I don't think there's uh, any additional charge for it. So basically, yeah. And the last section would be the reporting API. If you are a developer, you know how to do API. Definitely API can help you with your campaign. It can makes your life much more easier but personally i have no idea on coding i have no idea on api so i'm just going to leave that particular thing blank so let's go back to the dashboard and check out the next section so the next section would be the tracking section so under the tracking section there's two particular subsection one is goals and one is actually uh event lock so with the goal you can actually create a goal this is actually very good this is also something that you can actually later on integrate in your campaign that's what i believe so what you can actually do is for example test goal test goal so action what you can do is if you have for example a lead uh, or a cpa target of maybe thousand euros per day for example so what you can actually do is nothing. I have no idea what you can do. That, that's sad. That's really sad. So you can go on specific campaign or you can do on all campaign. So I don't understand. You can set a goal, but what do you want to do with the goal? What do you have to do? So you can also select a tracking platform. So they do recommend you to have an external tracking platform. And um, when you talk about external tracking platform, I would always recommend you to go with Volume. Volume is one of the best external tracking software there is. You can go ahead and check out the review on Google itself on Volume. Don't take my word for it. Go ahead, check out the Google uh, review on Google. Volume, they have a lot of details within whatever they are tracking and that details can be used really later on to optimize your campaign or to scale your campaign volume is something which i would say essential if you're running a push campaign regardless of whatever networks you're using make sure you have an external tracking software and volume is the one that i would highly suggest so the next section would be the event log over here so if you have an event on your goal, it should be here, but we don't have any event section over here. So the last, uh, the second last would be the finance. So over here is the payments. So sadly, what happened is that they have not changed it for publisher as well as for advertisers. It should be changed, right? It looks like it's specialized for advertisers, but then when you go to the payment section over here, they have a recommended payment. Oh, wallet. Okay, I understand. So they do separate it for advertisers. All you got to do is actually add fund. You can't receive any payment. So you can actually add fund over here. And how do you can add fund? Skrill. I'm excited to see Skrill. So you can ask via Visa, bank transfer, PayPal, web money, and Skrill. So let's see the minimum deposit of each one of it. So there's no minimum deposit. It's not shown here, but these are the payment methods that you can actually use. So there's five payment methods available. And you can also, uh, if you have a payment method or if you already did a financial transaction, then you can actually see it in your wallet statement or as well as in your invoice, which is very, very common. But since we don't have any uh, financial statement running, we did not top up any money. So there's nothing over here. And the last section would be the setting section where you can actually set the billing details, contact details, notification details, blah, blah, blah. And also over here is the account management. You can actually download all these details as a CSV file. This is something which I've never seen before. And this is something that I've never seen before as well. You can literally delete your ad cash profile. And deleting profile is irreversible. All your personal data will be removed and the system cannot be restocked. Wow, 
This is something that I've never seen. So it became like a social media already. <laughs> so this is actually funny. This is actually nice. Uh, okay. So basically that's about it. And the last section, the one that we want to go and take a look at is the campaign section. So once you're here, all you can do is go ahead and start creating a campaign. So let's go ahead and start creating a campaign. So there's two types of campaign. One is express campaign and one is advanced campaign. What we're going to do is we're going to see both of it. So let's go ahead and create the express campaign first, which is a very simple campaign it says. So there's uh, five format, pop under interstill, uh, push notification banner and native. So we're going to run push. This customer service is very, very disturbing me, man. So you can actually name the campaign. Let's go ahead, test express one. Test Express one and over here you can actually put your landing page URL this is what you have to put over here but you can also go ahead and put your offer page URL if you're not using an external tracker which is a bad option by the way you should definitely go ahead and use an external tracker and uh, put your landing page over here where you can actually get more details but uh, let's for the purpose of this video I'm not using any landing page so I'm just gonna put a offer URL from Clickbank over here so I'm gonna paste it over here and then you can actually choose what type of device you want it to run. I'm just going to run it on mobile. So if you change mobile, you can actually see the illustration preview change. So desktop, you can actually change both. So let's just remain both. So for geo-targeting, you can select worldwide or you can select custom. I'm just going to select Malaysia. I like uh, Malaysia, okay, Malaysia is there. I'm so creative. So it's actually pretty straightforward. I think that's why they called it as an express. So test one. So test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's it's being showed here. So let's let's see the image, whether the image is something which you can edit. Okay, looks pretty neat. So they uh, they actually resize the image themselves. So this is how it will look in the mobile, this is how it will look in desktop. So okay. So tax button, what is a tax button? Buttons are only supported in Chrome, Firefox, blah, blah, blah. The button can be used to trigger an action. Taking the user to a landing page, that's interesting. For example, uh, enter now, let's just see how it does. Wow, so it shows up here. So you can actually click this button over here while you see the ads and then bring it straight away to the landing page or to the offer page in our case, which is pretty great feature that they have over here. And then when you scroll down, you can actually save creatives, how many creatives that you can actually add. Uh, there's no amount of numbers of creatives that you can actually add. Okay, sounds good. So targeting, you can actually target supply source. So they do have a lot of supply source over here user interest wow this is like facebook already so this is actually a pretty nice targeting and it is for express let me just remind you that it's not even for advanced campaign yet it's for express still so yeah so uh, operating system browsers available browser language okay connection type organization zone and add schedule you can actually add your schedule 24 hours or you can put a custom schedule if you want to over here is the bid so the average bid is 0 0.02 which makes sense okay you can actually put cpc or cpm i don't know why cpm is there for push it's usually cpc so frequency capping you can actually set a frequency capping let's just say uh limit to clicks it's only for clicks guys so i thought it was something else so you can actually limit three clicks every 24 hours hours okay campaign total budget she's gonna put custom I'm gonna put a hundred dollars so daily budget is going to be ten dollars so you can actually schedule your campaign or you can just leave it like that and you can also zone cap so you can limit the impression for each zone so you can actually put hundred thousand they said that's the minimum and then you can actually go ahead and submit your campaign so that's how you do it with the express i want to check out the uh, the advance as well because it sounds very nice the express itself looks pretty great so let's let's check out the advance how it goes so they do have a lot of sections over here let's go ahead and do the advance so it's going to be test one location first so it's going to be malaysia 
So I just want to see what's the difference between the advanced as well as the the express. So, okay, the same thing. A lot of their targeting is. I'm pretty impressed with their targeting, especially with they have with the uh, banners, especially if they have the behaviors, which was pretty crazy guys so you can actually uh, select this for push especially since we are running push whatever you want okay looks great user interest this is what was impressive for me guys this this made them go very very high level when it comes to targeting because if you have a user interest you're almost almost aligned with facebook i'm not telling you facebook but you're almost aligned with facebook that's how crazy user interest could be and uh, i'm really loving it guys so the next one would be device so you can actually device type device name you can do it each one by one or you can do it browser domain URL URL keywords we can even add the keywords for your URL wow it's great that's really really great that's a great targeting options your website categories zone list traffic restrictions and all this kind of stuff so you're gonna press next and the creatives wow okay the creatives is a little bit uh, complicated so you're gonna do push so we're gonna uh, enter our URL like I told you just now itself. We're gonna enter a URL for ClickBank over here. Then we're gonna do test. Let's do test one. Test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. So let's see. They do the the automated adjustment yes they're doing the automated adjustment just like the express so they do have a button as well which is a great feature they do have a great feature so here as well so you can save creative and add more creatives you want to let's see how many creatives you can add they never show how many creatives you can add here so you can literally add a lot of creatives so you can go next next section would be the budget section so there's a whole section for budget alone so budgets let's go for custom let's go for total campaign budget 100 so campaign status after validation active you can pause it if you want to so bit cpc you don't want cpm what is cpm bullshit so frequency capping to so run three clicks every 24 hours available selection so you can actually select the bit so we're going to select Malaysia alone you can select other bits as well so if you select this bit you can actually know what is the average bit I think that's that's about it so we're going to put this we're going to save payout all right and then we're going to scroll further capping daily budget is ten dollars daily impression let's just put ten thousand so save for capping and then uh, this is blocking me so we're gonna go next and the final one is the overview of the campaign itself which is pretty neat guys pretty neat pretty much and then all you gotta do is just hit the create campaign button and your campaign will go for validation and once it completes the validation it will go live if you actually set just now whether it should go active or it, it should power you should pause the campaign until you manually go ahead and active the campaign you can actually do both so this is basically regarding the ad cache personally i really really like ad cache a lot guys especially when it comes to targeting the campaign creation express even if you're a beginner you can use Use Express if you're an uh, experienced affiliate marketer or media buyer, you can use the uh, advanced campaign builder. But even with the Express, most of the stuff is already covered within the Express itself. So they actually cater for both audience for beginners as well for advanced experienced media buyers and affiliate marketers, which is great. They separate everything very nicely, segregate uh, publishers, segregate uh, advertisers. And for the first time, I have no idea what is the con that I'm, I'm supposed to give regarding the ad cash. I literally have no idea what bad things i'm going to say about ad cash guys i'm not being biased literally that's what happening there was uh, the campaign building itself was pretty amazing i was pretty happy with the campaign building and all this kind of stuff so pretty much ad cash 
is a must use. If you want to test ad cash, if you want to use a network, definitely I would highly recommend you to use ad cash. Even if you're a beginner, you can use it. Even if you're an experienced affiliate marketer or media buyer, you can still use the ad cash because it's cater for both type of audience with both type of experience. That's about it in today's video, guys. I think I've covered a lot in today's video. I really hope that today's video was beneficial for you and you could actually use the information from today's video to go ahead and judge ad cash for yourself and also to make campaigns both with the express as well as the advanced campaign creation as well so thanks for watching everybody i'll be seeing you in the next one but before i go allow me to introduce the dice university forum whether you are trying to make your first conversion on clickbank or scale your campaigns to six figures the dice university forum offers you exactly what you need like high quality landing page templates detailed case studies, and exclusive discounts. The forum has no outdated information. All resources inside are from campaigns that are running right now. Do you want to learn from super affiliates? Check the link in the description and sign up today.